Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're keeping well. I thought I'd share a short video on this device that I've been using for the past few months. It shows the times of the local trains and a summary of the weather. I thought I'd share how it works and what I've learned in the process of getting it up and running. I live close to a couple of railway lines here, but the local trains don't do a fantastic job of keeping to the schedule. The trains are frequently delayed or cancelled, so the main purpose of this was just to have something that can show the status of the next few trains at a glance to save having to look it up all the time. You can buy similar devices off the shelf, but they don't work exactly as I'd like, so I figured it would be good to make something that better suits my needs. OK, let's have a quick demo of how it works. It's currently in sleep mode, showing a screensaver. It uses next to no power in this mode. I can press the wake button to wake it up. When it wakes, it takes a few seconds to connect to the Wi-Fi, load some feeds from the internet for the train and weather data, and then it presents that data to the screen. It will then go back to sleep for a minute, and then it wakes up and does it all again. It does that for 90 minutes, or unless the button is pressed again, and then it goes back to the screensaver mode. There is an SD card inside with some JPEG images on it. Screensaver mode just picks one of these and sets it to display. It's also set to a schedule, so it switches itself on in the morning to display the train status automatically for the morning rush hour. The battery needs to be charged every month or so, which can be done via the USB-C socket. And that's about it. It's designed just to sit on the shelf, or you can keep it nearby as you're getting ready to go out. Here's a few examples of the display. The top left it shows the time and date. Top right it shows the battery status. If there's less than 50% battery left it shows the actual percentage number. Below that, the time and destination of the next five London-bound trains for the local station are displayed. Below this, it shows the operational state of the next closest train line. The trains on this line are much more frequent, so I only need to know if it's running OK or not. I'm not worried about trying to catch a specific train. At the bottom, it shows a summary of the weather for the day ahead, or night ahead, if it's already evening. The hardware is an ink plate for Tempera sold by Soldered Electronics. It's a recycled 3.8 inch 600x600 600 600 resolution e-ink display connected to an ESP32 microcontroller and battery and it's mounted in a 3D printed case. They make several similar items and this one was the smallest. The hardware has a lot of features, not all of which I'm using in this application. The e-ink display is actually a touch screen and the hardware includes options for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB-C connectivity. It's got a real-time clock, a micro SD card slot, gyroscope, accelerometer, light, temperature and humidity sensors and gesture sensors. It was easy enough to pick up the Arduino programming language with the number of good examples available for the ink plate. I use the Arduino IDE application to develop my code. Uploading the code is just a case of connecting the device to the laptop via a USB-C cable and clicking a button. As someone more used to HTML, there were lots of little challenges along the way, like positioning all the lines with coordinates. I also created my own strike-through font to use to help visualise the cancelled trains. The main train API I'm using allows filtering to show trains going via a certain station, so I was easily able to filter it to just display London-bound trains. It's pretty rare that I'm headed in the other direction. It's been in operation now for a few months. The first few weeks involved a bit of fettling to get it behaving correctly, but it's now proved itself reliable and makes life that bit easier. At the moment I don't have any plans to extend the functionality, but it would be pretty easy to do so. For example, if I had to start taking the bus frequently, I could add a touchscreen button to link to a bus time page. 
or the news headlines could be displayed instead of the screensaver images. If you have a use case for something similar, I'd highly recommend this hardware and learning a bit of Arduino. I'll include links below for the hardware, example code and the APIs I'm using for the trains and weather should anyone wish to make something similar. That's it for now, thanks for watching.